Remember the year I broke this thing off? <laughs> That's what happened to the state budget. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Let's try that again. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay. Welcome back to day two of I Lead USA. I'm Ann Craig. I'm the director of the Illinois State Library. And it is my pleasure, honor, delight to introduce Tim Cherubini of COSLA. And Tim was named COSLA's first executive director in June 2014. He leads our unique, highly motivated, collaborative organization. And our goal is to strengthen libraries and their contributions to a technology driven <coughs> society by leveraging a national reach, peer network, cross state lens, recognized field leadership, and the ability to partner. Prior to joining COSLA, Tim held key positions with Salonet, Lyricis, those two library consortia, and also in academic libraries, including Duke University. Emory University and the Ohio State University. I just want to give a quick shout out to our nine state partners, New York, Maine, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Ohio, Utah, South Carolina, Delaware, and North Dakota. This is so exciting. Tim, come on up and say hi. Yay. Thank you very much, Ann. And uh, yes, hello. Hello to everyone in the room. Um, for, and hello to everyone online, all of our state friends out there as well. I have to tell you, the energy in the room, I've only been here for about 20 minutes, and these people have me. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> and these people have me going already. So, uh, yeah, thanks. So much. There's, who said, so there are other not morning people. Yes, thank you. So, yeah, this has been, I, I have to say that um, when, uh, as, as Ian mentioned, I'm relatively new to COSLA um, and the first executive director, and it's been a really interesting and wonderful uh, ride so far, and I'm looking forward to the future as well. Um, if you think back, you know, what, what can you accomplish in your first year on a job? And I think the answer is, well, you know, probably not as much as you think. There's a lot of the learning the organization, learning the partnerships. Um, and actually introduced me, I think, just in conversation to ILEAD really early on in my tenure uh, after I had started. And it just became something on a long list of, okay, well, I need to look into that uh, at some point. And, um, Anne was very gracious and her team of extending the invitations to come to, I think, each of the, each of the meetings this year. And uh, looked at March, wasn't going to work. Uh, really had my eye on June. Turned out that just wasn't going to work at the, at the last minute. So here it is October, and I'm really very glad to be here. And in some ways, this is maybe a better time for me to be here, uh, experiencing firsthand uh, the group. Um, I'm not sure how many. I'm not sure how much folks know about COSLA. Just the folks in the room. Are you familiar with the organization? I'm seeing a few hands go up, but I'm seeing a lot of heads saying, "No, not really." Well, um, COSLA is the uh, chief officers of state library agencies. It's a, it's a nonprofit, essentially professional association. Um, it's a membership organization, and the people who belong to COSLA are the uh, folks in 50 states and three territories who are charged with. Uh, overseeing library development within the state, uh, predominantly, and uh, these tend to be state librarians, um, but not always. Sometimes they're folks, and uh, they may not have the name of state librarian, but they're over whatever effort there is within the state that is uh, uh, supporting the development of public libraries in particular. Um, they're generally placed in government somewhere, either in the Secretary of State's office or the Department of Education. But um, a very devoted and uh, committed group of leaders. Um, we actually had our annual meeting. We meet three times a year. We had our big meeting uh, last week in uh, Cape May, New Jersey, and uh, covered really a lot of ground uh, at those meetings. I think that some of the topics that were on that agenda were uh, everything that's happening in the world with regard to the library world with regard to um, e-books. Uh, we spent some time with the folks from New York Public Library group and some really interesting things. Uh, we spent some time with uh, Dan Cohn of the Digital Public Library of America, 
uh, on that project. We talked a lot about data and data gathering and surveying, um, both as a continuing education topic for the state librarians and also as a, as a topic that CASLA is really looking to become more active in in, the, in terms of um, really addressing questions about uh, you, you in this room probably know more, more than me, but how many times are you asked, hey, can you fill out this survey and remember you need to submit this data for the federal funding and, you know, there are a lot of demands on public librarians' times for collecting data and uh, sometimes it, 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 survey fatigue comes up a lot, sometimes we wonder if we're collecting the right data. We're not sure that we're actually making the most of the data that we do have. So these are all topics around, you know, that, that data, data collection and data use topic. Uh, was very prominent. Um, Coslin itself has a, a couple of, of, of things that going on in, um, that, that I think relate to some of the things that you as I leaders, do you call, them, do you call yourselves I leaders? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, um, are, are interested in as well. And one is that we are, we've been very interested over the last year in the um, Aspen Dialogue uh, that was released. And, uh, are very pleased that COSLA has a seat on the advisory committee for the work that the Aspen Institute is continuing to do over the next few years. Uh, this idea of reaching out to the community uh, always, could, even when you're doing it well, you can always stop and look at that and say, well, we're doing it well, how can we do it better? Uh, there are many different ways to measure the effectiveness of community outreach. So we're behind this initiative and hope that it brings forward uh, many good things for public libraries. We also are uh, in interested in continuing education. And COSLA has had a project over the last few years, also funded by the Institute of Museum and Library Services, which um, I, I, I want to acknowledge on behalf of ILEAD is just a wonderful supporter of this program. They're just a wonderful supporter of many library programs. In the COSLA world, the continuing education um, effort that has been underway prior to my starting with COSLA, we refer to as the Continuing Education Connector Project. And um, the idea behind the Connector Project is that state libraries are all very interested in developing their agency staff and also enhancing their agency staff's ability to work with public libraries in every state to develop the public librarian as well. Uh, if every state is doing this, the concept was, well, why don't we combine efforts, why don't we connect all of that and see what we can do uh, both to save time and money, you know, don't work in a silo, let's work collaboratively on things, but also to spark more creativity, more innovation, more activity uh, in this arena. Um, the Connector project was, it, it started as a grant funded project through IMLS and we've recently made it a, a, a regular working committee within COSLA, and it's, we're just uh, at the end of that transition. And actually someone in the room, Cindy Coletti, from uh, Illinois is on the steering committee for the Connector Project, so thanks for your service on that, Cindy. Um, there are things that the Connector Project has done to gather information about continuing education in states. We have, um, if you go to the COSLA website, you can see uh, a, a publication that has a profile of continuing education in each of the states. So that's an example of, of data collection that we hope, it will, you know, as we're surfacing this, we hope it will spark some ideas. But the group also has worked on content. One of the most popular pieces of content uh, that is out there uh, so far is a, um, uh, a series of recorded webinars aimed at uh, inf basic level information that new public library directors uh, may need when they start their job. We call it the Public Library Directors 101 series. This was, I think, in many ways, a perfect topic for the connector because uh, in every state, uh, it, it, you know, when a new public library director comes on board, there's just, you know, some stuff that they need to know from the state library that would, we, the state libraries believe it would be helpful to know. So uh, the connector project gathered all of that, put it in a recording format. Uh, it's available uh, through the COSLA website now. We're working with Web Junction to make things available there. So that's that's a very interesting and I think uh, productive project within COSLA. Um, I couldn't help but think of that when I started looking at iLead and when I started to learn about iLead. But uh, I, I really uh, appreciate what I'm seeing um, from talking with Dan and talking with some other states that are involved. And um, I'm just very happy to be here today to experience firsthand. I think that 
you know, the connector project is a very good one for COSLA. When I look at iLead, though, I see uh, quite a bit of a different thing. You know, first of all, um, the, you know, the verbs that are in the iLead, explore, apply, and discover, uh, just very active uh, 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 verbs that really suggest these are things that librarians should be doing to develop themselves uh, and to develop things to help them serve their communities better. It's pretty clear from, I've watched a lot of the videos on YouTube and, uh, and, and, and spoken with a number of the people, and it's pretty clear that you know, the energy that I'm feeling in the room here is one of the hallmarks uh, of this program. The sense, of create, uh, the sense of fun, the sense of creativity, um, all very, very positive things that, that I think play very well um, in this world that we're in where we do need to develop ourselves, take care of ourselves so that we can be effective and, and take care of our communities. The mentoring aspect of this program is also notable. And um, the notion of embracing technology, developing leadership, there are just so many things about the ILE program and the model that is out there for this that I think can be taken forward, not just in the ILE program, but that others of us can learn for in applying in, in different settings as well. Um, I'm also just really very pleased uh, at the cross-state approach to this. I think that, uh, that a lot of work, very good work, had been done in Illinois. They are in sharing mode, I think, always, and really open doors to come to, uh, to invite other states in, take a look at this program, uh, see if and how you would want to apply this. I applaud the states that have stepped up to do this. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing the results today uh, here in Illinois and, and hearing from other states as well uh, how things are going uh, for uh, your sessions. And um, I just wanted to close by saying that Anne has, I know, worked with uh, other states on this. And, and uh, a couple months ago, I, I got on a call. We kind of convened together to kind of look at, OK, well, we're doing this you know, one year is coming to a close with uh, this cross-state uh, approach to ILE. Where do we want to take this? Um, I don't have an answer for that. I don't think anyone does in the room. I don't think any of the states out there who are participating, or maybe some who aren't participating but would like to. But I will offer that I think that this is an excellent uh, topic for COSLA to keep an eye on, to see how we can help, um, where we might be able to actually capitalize even more on this idea of doing multi-state approaches to the ILE model moving forward. So I'm looking forward to today. I'm glad I got to speak right now because now I get to kick back and relax and yeah. watch and have some fun. Um, so uh, I hope to speak with you uh, during the day. I'm very interested in, in any thoughts that you have that you might want to get on the radar uh, for the state library world to consider. And um, everyone enjoy. At this point, I'll turn it over to uh, Dave.